Now, reactions continue to trail the decision by southern governors to ban open cattle grazing in the 17 southern states of the country. Galaxy's Valerie Choma tells us more in this report. The southern governors had, after a four-hour meeting in Asaba Delta State, agreed that open grazing should be banned. Open grazing of cattle has often caused conflicts between host communities and migrant headers, leading to dirt in many states. Some of the headers have also been accused of committing other criminal acts like armed robbery, rape, and kidnapping. Expectedly, while the North kicked vigorously against the position of Southern governors itemized in the 12-point communique, Southern leaders embraced the move and called for necessary legislation to back the ban on open grazing. Analyst Kayode Dayo and Aki Malolu has this to say about the ban of open grazing. We've had farmers and us clashes from it. We have equally had spasm of communal bloodlettings between elders and community that encroaches on their cattle grazing routes. Population dynamics does not allow for open grazing. So the ban has long been awaited for. It's a rather gladdens everybody's eyes. The southern governors were right. Uh, they don't want to appreciate nomadic type of living because it is uh, antithetical to 21st century city development. They are not saying they shouldn't bring their cows to Kara to come and sell. They are not saying they shouldn't bring it to Agege Abatio to come and sell and other Abatios within the region. But we want to stop nomadic way of taking care of cow in the, in the south. Recall that the governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, had on Friday applauded the decision of the southern governors and said that whoever opposes them is unpatriotic. I want to also use this opportunity to appreciate my colleagues and the people of the southern part of Nigeria, 17 governors coming together to adopt ranching as the global best practice and the best practice in the southern Nigeria. I commend them. I appreciate them. Meanwhile, Speaking on the implementation of the resolution, Malolu stressed that the enforcement of the law will not be a problem as state-owned security outfits such as Amotekum would be able to enforce it, while Kayode noted that the ban would bring a significant reduction to criminal activities in the South. Whereby you now have criminals, marauders, you know, posing as its men. That is where it now becomes a menace within our society. And there is no other way to pass a resolution to that other than now. They don't need the police to execute it. They don't need the army to enforce it. The enforcement, once the Axis of Assembly passes the ban into law, Amoteku can enforce it. Communities around those areas can enforce it. There is nothing lawless about it if the federal government will not respect the other federating unit. The further added that the southern governors should work together with northern governors to provide an alternative for nomadic farmers. Valerie Chioma, Galaxy TV News, Lagos.